Jail time is no longer a possibility for those who violate Governor Greg Abbott's COVID-19 executive order. KXAN's Maggie Glenn is at the Capitol with the latest on the governor's rollback. Governor Abbott made the announcement this morning, citing in particular three Texans who have been arrested and jailed for operating non-essential businesses. Two of them were women in Laredo jailed for providing nail and eyelash services. The third was a woman in Dallas, Shelly Luther, who was sentenced to a week in jail for opening her salon. Luther explained she reopened because both she and her stylists were struggling to put food on the table for their kids. The governor sided with Luther, even discussing the situation at the White House alongside President Trump, and so did Attorney General Ken Paxton. It doesn't do the state any good. It doesn't do her any good. It's, it's, it just shouldn't be happening. These people who have uh, spent their life building up a business and being told to shut it down and lose every penny they have uh, and then if they don't follow every little you know fine point of all the rules they suddenly are subject to arrest that is wrong several others were also arrested at a bar in odessa that opened too early this week including the owner in addition to having the governor's support, the Texas Supreme Court today ordered the immediate release of Shelley Luther without bond while her case is pending. At the Texas State Capitol, Maggie Glenn, back to you. Texas Democrats say Abbott is giving this single case too much attention. They say he should focus on testing expansions and tracing efforts.